hello everyone so today i'm going to be filming my may favorites video so a little bit about my favorites videos i don't do them every single month i'm thinking maybe every two to three months my last favorites video was in february so i kind of like to space it out because i like to try new products for a while before i form an opinion on them also i'm not like constantly buying new products to try that's why i don't do favorites videos every month i know some um youtubers do i created a list and so i'm going to go over some of the stuff that i've been loving the past few months i've got makeup skincare like a wax melt and some books that i've been reading lately so if you're into that then keep on watching all right so let's get started with the makeup products so i mentioned this in a previous haul video this is the nyx marshmallow primer i absolutely love this i've used this with three different foundations and it's worked absolutely beautiful with all of them it really just makes my skin look really flawless the pores are gone especially in my nose area my nose has been very very what's the word the pores have been very prominent in my nose area lately which i have a product for that too but the skincare that i've been using plus this primer it just gives me a really airbrushed look on my skin and it fills the pores really beautifully um i mentioned in my haul that this has marshmallow root in it the only thing that i don't love about this primer is the scent i know a lot of people will like the scent it's very it's not marshmallow to me it's more vanilla but it's very fragrant and usually fragrance breaks me out when it comes to makeup products skincare sometimes but this has not broken me out. I will continue to use this. This is the full size. I know there's a mini that you can buy if you want to just try that out first. My Ulta was all out, so I just purchased this guy for like a drugstore primer. I think this was like $17, which is kind of up there for a drugstore. Um, but the fact that it came with a pump made up for it. So I've been loving this primer. I've been using it nonstop since I bought it like two weeks ago. I think I may like it more than my Milk Hydro Grip. I don't know. I think I may like do like my milk hydro grip on one side and then this one on the other and see how they perform all right so next product this is the l'oreal true match nude hyaluronic tinted serum so that's what the packaging looks like i'm sure you guys have seen this before it blew up on tiktok a few months ago i've seen it on youtube like a few beauty gurus um use it or mention it and it was in somebody's favorites video this past month so that's what prompted me to purchase it I purchased this last week and I've been using it every day since. It is so stunning and beautiful and I know I've only been using it for like a week but it's already one of my top favorite foundations. Um, this guy retails for um, $14.99 at Target. That's where I got mine which is kind of expensive for a drugstore foundation but I feel like everything nowadays is like really expensive, you know, inflation. But um, if you're looking for a very, very lightweight foundation, I highly recommend this one. I don't even feel it on my skin right now. It Cosmetics one that I use is a pretty thick formula and I can feel it on my skin. Now, granted, it has a lot more coverage to it, but this one, it just feels like my skin. It did a really good job covering up and making my, <laughs> making my foundation um, even. However, I did have to do two layers to get this type of coverage so if you're looking for something a little bit more sheer more natural for the summertime um, I highly recommend this one all right last makeup product these are the rare beauty blushes these three came in a set that my mom got me for Christmas this past year and I have just fallen in love with them they are just so so stunning a little goes a really long way so these minis are actually perfect because they're gonna last me a while I'm gonna swatch them on my hand and then I'll let you know the shades but I've been using these constantly I've been mixing them I'm usually not a blush person but this past year I have been so there are some swatches right there and then I'll name them off so this one right here is called peace the next one is Bliss, and then this pink one right here is Hope. This one was like a Christmas set, so I'm gonna have to do some research and see if they're part of like her full line or if these were just like limited edition. I'm gonna look that up 
right now because I don't want to recommend something that doesn't even exist so hold please all right so after doing some research on Sephora's website um, the only ones that are on there are hope and bliss so these two right here um, peace isn't on the Sephora website sorry I'm looking at the viewfinder what are we saying peace um, was not on the Sephora website maybe on the rare beauty website it's on there but I don't want to recommend something that doesn't exist but the blushes are beautiful and there's a ton of new colors on the Sephora website that you can look for a lot of them look like they're out of stock at the moment about half of them are out of stock but um, these blushes are just really great for the summertime if you want something really lightweight and very easily blendable I love that they're so easy to just blend you just put like one dot and then I use a beauty blender to blend it out and it just looks beautiful I'm just kidding that was not the last makeup product I wanted to talk about the lipstick that I'm wearing I've mentioned this quite a few times on my channel it's the shade blankety by Mac I featured it in a few of my TikToks as well so this has been one of my favorite favorite nudes for the past couple of months that I've been using it's just a really great creamy pink nude shade all right getting into skincare so i mentioned earlier that my pores and my nose have just been absolutely ridiculous i don't know where that came from but even after trying to exfoliate and doing different masks it was just not working so i ordered these bior the original deep cleansing pore strips you guys these are absolutely amazing kind of gross and disgusting like after you put it on and when you peel it off and you just see how congested your pores are in your nose just absolutely disgusting so the first night that after Amazon dropped these off I grabbed my husband and I was like let's do this so basically you get your nose wet and then you put this on top push it down and then let it sit for 10 minutes and then you like slowly peel it off <laughs> I mean, it's not like the most pleasant feeling in the world, but afterwards, it's like, wow, like my nose is so soft. I've used this about three times now. I've had this for about a month and I've used them three times. It says on here not to use, like you have to wait three days in between using another one, but I think it's been doing the job. That primer plus these have definitely made a difference in my foundation application on my nose area. It's just so much smoother. Okay, next, this is a wax melt. I know that I talked about wax melt in my previous favorites videos. I think I'm gonna start adding one in every one of my favorites videos if I find a new one that I like that I can feature. But this is the Better Homes and Garden Wild Berry Cheesecake Wax Melt. And you can get this at Walmart. It's a Walmart brand. And this is what it looks like. It smells so good. It smells like, to me, like a fruit roll-up or like a fruit leather. I'm not getting like a whole lot of cheesecake, but there's definitely like lemon and berries and tartness, like sourness to it. Um, I've used half of it up, as you can see. It's currently in the warmer that I have in our bedroom. I've burned it in the bathroom as well previously, and it just smells so good. And this formulation lasts so long. Now, compared to Scentsy, this one does not clean up as well as the Scentsy does. The Scentsy, I can just use a cotton ball, and it'll come right out. This one, I use a cotton ball, and there's still like a little bit of residue on the bottom of the dish, so I have to get like a baby wipe or... Um, like a tissue or something and kind of scrub at it not a tissue don't use a tissue I meant paper towel so this one doesn't come out as easily but it's also a lot more affordable than purchasing Scentsy also more accessible for people I'm just scared when I order Scentsy that I'm not gonna love a scent I love that Walmart carries these because I can just smell them there and see if I actually like them and I'm actually gonna use them so this was my favorite of the month. I've been burning this since I got it. And last but not least, the book series that I have been absolutely obsessed with. So, I have been in a reading slump for what seems like years. Probably since like I got out of high school, I've been in like a reading slump. The last series that I've actually like binge read was 
the selection series that I read my senior year of high school. But recently, um, in my previous favorites video, I talked about The Unhoneymooners, and I absolutely loved that book. It was so cute. So after reading The Unhoneymooners, I really didn't know what to read. I didn't know what I liked, and my friend, Nicole, from not high school, <laughs> we were neighbors like our houses my house is right here somebody else's and then her house neighbors we went to the same junior high and high school she does like book talk and i was like i need a series that i can like binge read because i need something to do you know stay at home mom life i need something to do and she was like well what do you like I told her what books that i have read in the past and actually enjoy she's like i think you'll absolutely love a court i can't say that word a court of thorns and roses i literally cannot say the word court so she was like, just try it out, see how you like it. So I purchased the first book and I read it extremely fast. And then I purchased the second book and I was like, dang, that's a lot of book. But I feel like I went through this one really fast as well because there was like a lot of drama, some plot twists, you know. I just finished this one, um, the third book, a couple days ago. This one has a lot of war in it, so it was a little bit harder for me to keep up with. Not a lot of talking going on during the war scenes, obviously, um, so I just really had to pay attention to those scenes to figure out what was actually going on. But if you're into mythical creatures, um, there's a love triangle in it, there is war, there's battles, It's there's just like a lot to it, and it's really, really good. Especially with like the plot twists, I think you like characters and then... You don't like the characters I'm not gonna spoil anything but this has kept me occupied the past month and a half I have the fourth book right here I haven't started it yet but I plan to and then there's also one more after that I can't remember the name of it I was just re-watching the video back and I forgot to mention with these books um, it's definitely for a more mature audience I'm just gonna say that there are some spicy scenes so if you're younger probably not ask your parents first I just wanted to throw that in there all right go on with the video <laughs> I just feel like I talked a lot it's how I usually feel after these videos but those are my favorites for the month I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you in my next video